Hey guys, good afternoon. Today we're looking at my personal BMW 2002 1976. I've had it for about three or four years now. Bought it from a gentleman locally. And over the past three years, I've driven, enjoyed it, done some little changes here and there, had it painted. Um, the previous paint just had a bunch of nicks and scratches and rock chips and stuff that drove me crazy. So I had my painter disassemble the car and paint it. While we did that, I converted the bumpers to Euro bumpers. Um, we trimmed the marker lights on the front and rear. We trimmed the lower belt line. I've got photos of the car before it went into paint um, showing that it was a super clean car. No rust on the body or anything. Um, it was painted about two years ago. And I just finished doing a new interior. Uh, today I just had the wheels re-powder coated this past week. Um, h and springs, Bilstein shocks, ST front and rear sway bars. Handles really great. Car drives fantastic. Starts up every single time. See the Recaro seats, um, Aardvark racing sliders, Kugelworks center console with a stereo, um, a really great Momo Italian steering wheel. I just did too much to the car, to be honest. I just, I've been obsessed with 2002s forever. My first one I ever bought. Um, I was 15, it was um, agave green, this car's jade green, it was agave green, same color interior, it was a roundy, had dual Weber carbs, I bought it from a police officer in Mount Pleasant, which is right over the bridge from us, I paid $3,600 for it, I still have the original bill of sale, and that car burnt down when I replaced the carbs, and my now, my girlfriend at the time, my now wife, um, I guess maybe I was 18 when it burnt down or 19 because my wife was with me and helped me push it out and save the house. Um, but fast forward, I've had a few in between, but I bought this one locally and was going to sell it on Bring a Trailer as is when I got it because it was super nice. It had some paint flaws and stuff, but it was clean. But I just wanted to do what I wanted to do for to a car for once and what I would have done when I was in high school if I had the money. So in comes this girl. Um, the Recaro seats, super nice, new carpet set from ST Carpet, um, headliners in great shape, obviously the rear seats and the matching upholstery, um, Momo wheel like I mentioned, the odometer shows 58,775. I believe that's original, but we're just for the sake of things going to say it's not. Um, didn't slam it hard enough. I hate slamming doors on these guys, but I'll add a ton of photos of the un engine bay, undercarriage. Um, you know, if you're looking for a really, really nice sorted 2002, this is it. And, um, I did some changes to how I would have wanted it, and I think it came out really great. I've got a 68 250 SE that I bought on Bring a Trailer a few months ago, um, or a month or so ago, and that one's coming, and my rule is one car in, one car out for my personal self, and I usually keep them a few years. Um, but clutch is strong. It drips a drop or two of oil when it sits, um, but you know, nothing major engine bay looks great you know it's it's a super nice car it's not 100 percent perfect but my version of perfect is a an incredibly high standard that may not be attainable but to 99.9 .9 of the world this car is perfect um i'll show you there are some little paint flaws at the bottom of this door and i see that one there but i don't see anything else there's a chip 
that it? No, there's a chip somewhere and I'll add photos of this stuff. Um, but again, just a really nice car. It's the original color, obviously repainted. Um, so yeah, stereo sounds great. Love that console with the cup holders. Um, it does have an outlet for a 12 volt and I have the 12 volt if you'd like to add that. And unfortunately, a little cracking on the dash there. It wasn't there when I bought the car, but alas, hot southern summers will do that. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you're having a wonderful week. Thank you.